All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Friday. That means that we're finally playing with Chimans. Finally, finally, damn. Chimans took forever to get here on Daily Duels. Like, for goodness fucking sakes. Like, oh my god. Anyway, we are playing them Chimans today. And uh, hopefully we have some plays. I have never played this deck before because, like I said, Daily Duels is very, very, very limited. And uh, I, I apologize at time. This card is physical, and you can add one Charmin monster right at your hand. So I can switch, switch, switch. So I, I just play this Charmin, and then switch it out for another Charmin, and then I get a monster. So that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it took a while. Like this deck came in OCG, went in OCG, came in TCG, went in TCG, and you guys just never voted on it. We've been doing this whole you select a deck thing for almost a year now, and Charmins they they were on there. You they were on there, on there, on there, on there, and you guys just never selected it. So rip on that but now they are here they are finally here chummies and uh we're gonna get our plays on you know so i'm tying out the card in my variant like i want to do it pure and every single time i look like do some research it's always like rock stun so it's like you know fuck it like if i'm if i'm gonna do it then i might as well do it right right um i don't know who i want to grab like master's decently strong i think i want to grab hunter no no hunter he gives me an additional of summon if i have a field spell so that's pretty good but i don't have any monsters right now uh, Dancer, she increasing by finder, but that's only during my turn that I can do that. Sphinx, I'll get eventually. Like, like I'm not too worried about grabbing Sphinx. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess Master, because he's the strongest out of all of them. Like, I, I really need to, uh, learn this deck. So, we can go ahead and normal summons Master. He's, uh, pretty strong right now. Activate that pod of duality. Uh, is there anything? I threw in some loose one turns because I stunned my opponent's turn, then do plays during my turn, so it's actually, you know, pretty decent play. Uh, try to slow down my opponent to my pace, because that's definitely what I do. And I don't special summon too much, it's mostly just normal summon, so card of demise, draw into a whole bunch, then freaking rip drew into what I did one. So this is a special summon one tournament monster from your hand. Well, I won't be doing that. I already got a golem. But so I pretty much just drew into what I don't want to draw. This, uh, that's essentially what you're telling me is that I drew it into exactly what I didn't want to draw. Like, all right. You know what? Maybe I should have actually got another Trimit Hunter because the Trimit Hunter can summon the Trimit Hunter. Well, the Master really can't do much of anything. Because return, I can send one face of Trimit card, the target one set card on the field and pop it. But why would I, you know, want to do that? Like, I, I need to learn this deck. I need to learn this deck because I literally just did nothing with that card in my ice. Like, that was bad. <laughs> all right. Well, the cool thing is, is that I can. I have Call of the Haunted, so I can actually revive one of my Tramid monsters. Yeah. This one's special summons from the hand, right? I can use Master. Master can tag out for a different spell spell, Fortress specifically. Then I can Call the Haunted the Hunter, and the Hunter can pop my my Fortress, and then grab me something else, and then it can grab me my Finks back, and then, you know, if I get threatened by something, you know, I can tag that out as well. So, I can go ahead and switch this out for Fortress. And Dark Dark Road dealing is resolved, so rip on that. I mean, he goes neg on that, but I don't. I really don't want to pitch my sound strikes. That kind of sucks because I was hoping that you know uh, I would get something else out of this play. Ah, uh, like I said I, I can hold off for now. I'm not really in a hurry. Wow, wow. This is the problem. This fucking he's just making me pitch everything that I definitely don't want to pitch. Oh, Armageddon Knight, Level Eater, Resonator. I'll be, it's clear that we are playing a little bit of that Dark Sinker up in this bitch. So. Yay on that, so you can go ahead and summon Hunter back, but it took this deck long enough, it really did, it took this deck a long time to get here on uh, Daily Duels, it, it really did. So he can go ahead and grab himself red there, like I said, I have lose one turn, so it really doesn't matter. I just kind of want to activate Tremor Hunter, but when I'm in the open game state, so I can't really do that until he, like, does something. Can I only, like, switch my fail spell once per turn? No, no, I can do it whenever. Cool. If I can do it whenever, then I'll just do it now. So I get rid of Fortress, and then which one's the best one? He's telling me I could draw this card, draw a card, discard a card, or try monsters. Yeah, this one, this one seems pretty strong. Give me a boost, Fortress. Go ahead and grab me back that Sphinx. So again, that's why it's like the card of my variant works because I just mostly do my plays during my opponent's turns. So so you can level lead off of that. Oh, but I can only activate the lose one turn if I can't control no special summon monsters, right? But yeah, probably should activate the lose one turn first, but then Tremid Hunter couldn't have done his shit, so. 
I forgot about that. It's been a while since I played Lose One Turn. Like, a cool minute. I haven't played it since, like, Cleese, you know? And then, of course, here we go. Broken ass level eater. Because, you know, level eater is not once per turn. You can keep doing them and doing them and doing them and doing them and doing them. Yeah, we already know. We already know the level eater shenanigans. <laughs> so, we'll pretty much just allow this man to, to level eat and touch himself and touch himself and touch himself and touch himself. Like, I'm sorry, level eater. You gotta go. Like, you are just straight up cancer. It seems like the more cards that come into this game, the more broken level eater gets, you know? And OCG, it's not even like that deck was like a top tier deck. I think that shit was rogue and OCG still handled that. And generally with the precedents we do, when OCG hits a card, we we tend to hit it too. You know, here we go, here we go. Fucking level eater, fucking level eater, man. <laughs> level eater needs to be banned. <laughs> like, like, like there, there, there is no if ands, buts about it. Level eater needs to be banned. Like, <laughs> Like, wow, you know, we tend to go ahead and kind of, uh, level, level Eater is, Level Eater is broken, Level Eater is broken, Level Eater is broken, broken, like, he's not broken as, like, oh my god, he breaks the game, like, he's broken as in the card f does not function correctly, you know, it's bad, it's bad, <laughs> like, how many times has he done Level Eater in this one turn, like, five, five, six times, like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's totally appropriate, <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and need to level off of that like five, six, seven times. Like that's, that, no monster should go off that many times in one turn, but as long as you always have something to let you level off, and you always will. You know? So, are you gonna summon your other level eater? No, he is gonna go all of that into Power Tool Dragon. Like, like, maybe maybe eventually I'll get to do something? I don't know. I'm kind of just sitting here watching this guy play with himself. And it's ripped because I messed up, because Lose One Turn would have been like the perfect card. You know, the perfect card to stop all this stupid shit. <laughs> Well, not really, because he could still just keep level eating off and doing fucking shenanigans. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have no bias in anything in Yu-Gi-Oh. Anything in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, even if it's a deck that I play, if it's broken and stupid, it needs to be hit. Cardinamize? Cardinamize should be hit. Definitely. Cardinamize should be hit. Like, just because of the particular deck that I play, the particular format that I play, I get to draw three? Like, that's not right. That's not fair, you know? But this deck only has, like... 10 monsters. I turned to like two of them. Like, I didn't even have that many remaining. So, that card of mine was just a whiff, you know? I'm still trying to figure out the deck. I'd say there's a lot of, you know, spells in here. A lot of filled spells, a lot of terraforming. There's probably like, counting the terraformings, like what? Like 12? 12 spells just involving the spell spells? It's a lot. Really, it's, it's a lot. Uh, you know, maybe I should, maybe I can lower the count possibly. But I know one of the problems with Tramas that I've, I've seen, you know, Renny has the deck uh, that I know of is uh you could potentially run into not having any more field spells and that would be really bad wow you went the clear ring instead of going into crystal myth okay kind of thought you would uh went into crystal myth if anything i'm just sitting here watching this man use level eater like fucking 20 fucking times like cancer right cancer Terraforming. I'm okay with my field spells right now. Yeah, DDR, some that bat. Now crystal mess. Oh, and then you quit. Like all of that, all of that, and all you, and all the level years, all of that. You just quit. Like oh my god. <sighs> Look at our duel. Be right back. Ugh. Wow. Wow. All of that level eater, straight up fucking cancer. All of that, and it was all for naught. Like all right, all right, all right. So, uh. Not the greatest of hands. I could play this and then pop this and then search. Then are you the one that lets me draw a card and then pitch a card? No, no, that's the, that's the fill spell. But I can only tag out the fill spells during my turn. That's the question. Should I just pop right now? I can go into like a Gorgonic Guardian. That would be terrible. Play this felt spell, then I could put this felt spell on top of that felt spell. Have this felt spell go off, grab me, you know, like, like the answer. And if I have the felt spell, I can get an original normal summon. Original normal summon going to Gargonic Guardians. That would be terrible. Just, I I can only change out my felt spell during my opponent's turn, so that kind of sucks. So, I get the additional normal summon. And once we turn, I can target one, trim my card, and graveyard shuffle back and increase. Yeah, you know, that's not terrible. It's just... 
think of God and Guardians like a boss ass bitch. Yeah, she just she just so good. And I do have to call the haunted, so I can you know call after I detach call the haunted and replace my field spell with a different field spell. Yeah, but once again, Carter Mines decks you already know how they are. You know if you open up with Carter Mines and you get it, it's broken. But if you don't, it's kind of yeah. You know? All right, so we're going against the Jew, Gnishishi. Everybody's on this deck. I probably I won't get to play this deck for a cool minute. I definitely know that. <sighs> yep. So the the thing is, is that I can negate him, but then he can just slap in another Janishishi, Yeah. You know? And then when Rat is the Catholic Cemetery, you can summon another Rat. Oh, you're doing that effect. That you're doing your pop effect. It's gonna take me a while to learn this deck, but I, I won't get to play it on Daily Duels. Definitely not. That's why that uh, the new series, the uh, Daniel uh, Viper. Yeah, I gotta watch out for Viper because I know he can detach during either player's turn, so he can I can attack him and he can just like bam, quit. There's an additional twelve, so I gotta be careful with Viper. It's gonna take me a while to learn this deck. I like to play with itself a lot. It's a lot of just, you know, I'm doing my place, I'm doing my place. So what do you do? Which one are you? In this turn, you can attach and see your children, add one beast while you're type monster. Oh, so you're the searcher. Yeah. That's fine. I think I should just wait for a threat. Is that once per turn? Or are you, are you doing the search or the summon of the rat? I don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah. Do you need see that? I don't know. They seem, they seem decent. Okay. Any Beast Warrior, yep. So you can go ahead and grab that bear. And you can go ahead and detach to and target Excel to attach one from the graveyard back to it. Let's increase that monster by 16 and it gets pierced damage. Alright. So I can go draw, I can go out there and damage step and fuck you up, so. If anything, it comes where Sphinx was here. So, seems like he'll try to attack me, try to fuck me up. No, no, he's not. He's just gonna end. Okay. Oh, there's Sphinx. <laughs> That's nice. So I can make his attack zero. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think it's just taking it slow. There's really no point in me doing anything. Just kind of wondering. Can he only use the effect of, what's its name? Viper once per turn? I need to look at Viper. In any player's turn, you can target one Beast Warrior because you can change control, attaching the same material, uh, Beast Warrior gain effect, banish it. So I think I should just really, I should just attack his monster. And then if he wants to equip, then he's still strong. If he wants to equip twice, that's fine. I go after him damage step, I'll detach, drop you down to zero, kill you, so you're going to die either way. You know, I, I still got to call the Haunted, so I can call the Haunted to the monster that I detach, then switch out my Fortress for something else. You know, and then I'll have the Trimit monster, and then I'll have the Sphinx. You know? Should probably be the other, uh, the king one. So, I'll attack you, and then you'll go off during attack decoration, because you can't go off during damage step, right? Yeah, attack decoration, you'll quit. That's fine. So you'll go up to 13. I'm still stronger than you, so I'll kill you? Yeah, I'll still kill you. Oh, but any monster that battles, period. I thought I had to kill it. Oops. That's fine. I'm thinking about saving my Twin Twister, because... I can pitch the Sphinx with Twin Twister and then grab it right back with Fortress. You know, after I, and when I tag out with Call of the Haunted. Okay, so now, I, so now I know. Now I know. So I'm slowly starting to learn this deck. It's only like my second time facing off against this deck. What's this card? The Zodiac Beast. Wow, so it just has nothing. This is a new one of the new spell cards. It's like, why do you have pro? You need to kind of fix this. You can target one face up card you control, destroy it, and if you do special summon one zodiac monster, blah 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 blah. Uh yeah, I'll turn to a that. Target your set and target this. Tenki's not really a threat. Is it a threat? Not really, because he has bear. Bear can throw the chair at me whether he wants to or not, so I don't know, I don't trust his set cards. 
I want him to interrupt my possible sphinx, upcoming Sphinx place. So get rid of that Zodiac Beast so you don't pop and get a search. Or Tensu. Alright. It's like, okay. Like, I don't know. I'm not seeing your place. Alright, and then you attach it to the sea material. That's fine, but your effects are still negated. Guess I'll go ahead and activate Call the Haunted now. Wish I had, I wish I had a stronger one. Like, she has a nice booty, but I'll be in attack mode. Kind of worried about Bear just, you know, summoning and attacking me and then getting more searches and more resources and more pluses. Like, I didn't open up too great and doing against a deck in our face flag. I went super neg on that. Like, I could have got way more out of the Gorgon and Guardian if I would have realized, but... Hindsight's 2020. Now I know. I don't know. So this is one of my second friend facing this deck. I got, I got, I got wrecked. I got destroyed. All right. So Steady's gonna go with Gorilla. And Gorilla's gonna pop my call of the haunted. That's fine because I can tag out my fortress. I kind of wanted to respond on summon. I was holding the A button. So I might actually miss timing with this shit, which would be really bad. It'd be really bad if I miss timing on this. I guess I get cruiser. Cause I'm gonna die. My fortress will go off. And I can grab a sphinx, but then I'm dead. Yeah, I wanted to do it on some and switch it out, but yeah, thank you. Thank you, YGO Pro. And this is one of the reasons why I don't want to do League on YGO Pro. Because you pretty much always have to click Always Chain. Like, I pretty much always have to do that now. Because I, I literally got fucked. I was holding the A button. I really was. Because I wanted to, on summon, activate my effect, trade out, you know? But they were like, oh, well, it's not open game state, so you really can't do anything. Now you're just literally asking me for everything. Okay, now that's getting annoying. Like, uh, is there no middle ground? Is there is there, is there no middle ground with this shit? See, because I would have went on summon, switch out my fill spell, grab back my Sphinx. Then you would have went through the ch through, you know, flip the table on my ass. That's fine, you know. <sighs> you know, a cruiser, so I can just switch out cruiser, and then cruiser would get me a search. So that's not terrible. I'm not in a terrible position now. You know, I guess I'll grab master. It's just he has no set card, so there's really nothing I can, I can really do. I gained 500 life points, so... Ooh. Uh, if a Trailer Monster is no summon, I can draw one card and discard one card. I'm not sure if I want to do that, because I kind of want the Sphinx in my hand. Just in case he ever kills my master, and I can just summon Sphinx, and Sphinx will be like, raw, hefty, hefty, hefty. I'll just kill the... Kill the gorilla. Really didn't get anything. Decided to go with Gorilla over Bear. I probably went Bear, throw a chair, you know, Tanky and say he went Gorilla and then realized to destroy a monster to get the search, but there was no monster to search because he, you know, flipped the table and like called the haunted, so eh. So, like usual, I can go ahead and just, you know, exchange. And get another search. Alright, so who did he equip? Alright, so he's gonna kill my monster, but does it say if? It does, okay. I was wondering if I mi ever missed timing with these. So I'm gonna switch out my fill spell again. I'm going to my Amadeus one, uh, the King Ohm. Cruiser will go off, and then Sphinx will go off because I was destroyed by card effect, so. So in Sphinx. I'm not out of this duel yet. I think Christ I fucking top decked into something. Uh like I said just Master's kinda shoddy and Dancer's kinda shoddy and Hunter's like the best of them all, but you know. There's not too many great Chimid monsters. So this face of Carmen Pill, especially one from your hand. Okay, that has like the weakest graveyard effect, but its field effect is great. The additional 500 attack and defense, 500 attack at night, and then I get our mateys, so. Because I definitely know he'll probably try to fuck me up real good, so. So I don't know some of these Junishi sea monsters. This one can attack it directly.
Uh, so he's just going to straight up equip. Yep. So, yeah, if you're trying to mouse control battles, then you can't do anything during the damage step. So, you just really ran into my booty. <laughs> and then he was like, he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to fucking banish you because I have fucking Viper. I'm like, no, I don't give a shit. Fucking booty, man. Alright, slap on another Tremid, so you're gonna go into the fucking Searchy Tiger. Like, what's... This deck, it just keeps on switching things and grabbing things and switching things and equipping things and switching things, like... Really not getting used to this deck. <laughs> so, you can go ahead and get another Viper equipped and then BAM, you're 4,000 too. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. He got strong real quick. Uh, does it say with a different name? Yeah, so the different name. Because I can put the king, but then I can't place back the king. Yeah, that's a problem. What do you do? Try right, battle. Yes, kind of card. Try my motion. It can't tell. So he doesn't have just an awesome effect of his own. Kind of sucks. And you just fucking equipped so many, so fucking many that I don't even know how to handle you right now. Like, I kind of wish I had my solemn strikes and shit. I mean, I could run over the bear. That would be terrible. I have to call the haunted. I can. If I had to call the haunted like a turn ahead, I might have been okay. But now I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna be fucked. It really depends if he can get in like another Tramid with an actual attack. I mean, a Tramid, a Juin ju, Sushi, another attack, because you give attack, you give attack, you give attack. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this duel is not looking too hot. Could summon you, and then you could send a Tramid card, face up Tramid card, including yourself, to pop. Maybe popping the set card wouldn't be too terrible, because you can send yourself, but I might need you to switch out fill spells. Yeah, because you could switch out a fill spell, and then I could call the hunted monster, who can then switch out the fill spell back, the new fill spell back in the in the king's zone. You know, which will give me that 500 attack boost, which will bring this up to a 4,500 monster that he have, you know, he would attack into. God, this duel, this duel is difficult because I don't know his deck and I don't know my deck and knowledge is power in Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? <laughs> There's another Thorough bl Blade. So that's not something you can discard when you discard. Okay, that's fine. So I guess I'll go ahead and activate this effect now. I'll trade out. So, it has to be Fortress. I have a 45 booty. <laughs> but I'm still 4,000 tat. And I'll be sure... Like I said, I need, I need a more open game state. So I can just go ahead and activate Call of the Haunted. So, you got a Zodiac sign. So all GCC monsters gain 300 attack. Fence, so here we go up to... 43 like these are these are some strong fucking monsters we're doing with. Uh, I'm gonna summon another master just in case I want to do a rank 4 play next turn I didn't say you can only use the effect of master once per turn. All right, that's good. Oh No, of course, of course you have a fallen warning. Of course that was a sad I was thinking about fucking tribute masters like a pop now it doesn't fucking matter like all right All right, god damn it no, now it doesn't matter. Now it doesn't matter. I was hoping to call the haunted and tag out the fill spell, get another fucking uh, king golem, and then I would go up to forty-five when he attacks. But never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I screwed. <laughs> you had the warning. You had the warning. Like fuck me. Oh my god, that was that was a terrible duel on my part. Like I literally didn't have anything. I didn't open up too hot and join to see. I need to run that deck. I right, get another duel. Pair back. All right, this will be the last duel. Like. <laughs> Ah, that, that fucked me. That fucked me. Hard. Like, <laughs> alright. Oh, I mean. Guess I'll just activate Fortress and summon Master. 
and Master could switch switch out the filth spell for a different filth spell. I'm sure drawing a lot of monsters for only running ten monsters. Like, drew three out of my ten monsters? Like, alright. I wish I drew more back row. I need, I need to exact. I'm gonna go with Divine Variant. Seems like I should run a lot more back row. Like, running like Warning Vanities, the Solemn Brigade, uh, Call of the Haunteds, uh, the Lose One Turns. Like, maybe I should run more Mirror Forces. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a, this is just a rough draft. I just went with it. I wanted to run a pure variant. I didn't run, want to run like a uh, a uh, a rock stun. Because if I wanted to run rock stun, I just run rock stun. You know, I would just put rock stun in the polls. You guys would for rock stun. You know, so it's, it's got, I kind of have the same feel with the with the magician girls. Oh, never mind. I just scoop. Like, Be right back. All right, all right, duel. I believe this deck likes to go first. I like to get set up with my plays and stuff like that. Uh, this opening hand's not too terrible. No, not really. You know, I can cruiser. I can, you know, gain a thousand and switch out and draw a card. So, no, if anything, it's actually pretty decent. I can summon that and gain the five hundred. I can activate this, draw a card, discard a card, so that I can get rid of that master. And then I don't reveal the lose one turn. So that's not fine. You kill my uh. I think I could switch out, so. Huh, that's a that's a tough choice. Almost pretty good. I think they're vanities. I think they're vanities. Now if he has Twin Twister, then you know rip. You know. If he has a twin twister then rip. Maybe I'll just set one. I'll just set one. I'm not too much of in a hurry. If anything, I should set the lose one turn. Because I really don't want him to twin twister me and pop everything, you know? But yeah, I'll set one. Because if he twin twisters both of these, then fuck me, you know? At least if he wants to Twin Twister now, he'll Twin Twister my Vanities, my my Cruiser, you know, and I can just switch this out for a different field spell. So, that's that's nothing, you know. You know, like, I feel like if I'm going to run the Card Demise variant of this deck, I should run a little bit more stun. I, it's definitely a Card Demise deck. It definitely can run Card Demise. It's just, maybe I should run more traps. I'm getting a little bit too spell heavy, you know. Maybe I could drop each field spell down to two. I'm running one of the trap too. Yeah, the trap that can put the the tremens back and stuff. That's nice. This is this can search for a tremens card, right? Oh, is that the tremens monster? I could have sworn there was one that added a tremens card. Maybe maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe they don't have that. Maybe maybe I revealed it with a uh, pot of duality, and I was like, oh shit, you know. Uh, maybe you can't search it. I could have sworn you can add a tremens card from your deck to your hand. But nope. Oh, and it's blue eyes. All right. Gotta play that top tier shit, boys. I'm thinking about just flipping up vanities now. Yeah, if I flip up vanities now, then there's not much he can do. Yeah, we'll just flip vanities up now. Selling it. Majority of times, that's that's how I beat Blue Eyes. I swear to Christ, it's just flip up vanities and they just don't do shit. <laughs> Like, oh, I he said a monster. Like, and? <laughs> so it's nice I can go ahead and, like, put my Tremor cards back, but then sometimes it's like, eh. It's a Tremor card, so I can return that and then gain 500 attack and defense. It's not terrible. Eh, we'll do Dancer. She's weak. No, because Vanity says this if a card is sent from my deck or field, so get right. No, Decker Field. So I can just draw one and a discard one. That's not my. Right. That's not anything. And we can activate Chu. We can turn the Master, go up. Said so I don't think he has anything with booty. Not in blue eyes anyway. It's probably just a stone or something. Like. Yeah, see? Told you. Like, the, the, the easy way to be blue eyes. Like, that's why I think that made, the entities, this format should probably be main deck. Because it's just so easy to flip it up and just be like, ha ha, I win. GG. <laughs> you can't special summon. And if he figures out a way to get rid of my vanities, then I can just cycle through field spells real quick with both of these. Like, you switch out for you, and then you switch out for you. So I would have three different named field spells in the graveyard with, on top of probably ending with King. Which would give me a 4,500 monster, which is stronger than anything Blast with something, including Chaos Matt. So, easy, easy win, easy win. <laughs> if anything, I just think that keep on putting back Charmage shit and giving me an additional 500 attack and defense is not terrible, because I can always just put more fill spells back in the graveyard. Yeah, so. 
I'm chill. I'm chill. Like I said, once you do something to threaten me, once again, another stone. Once you, once you do something to threaten me, I'll actually do something. But for now, I just flip up the and win. It's an easy way to win against Blue Eyes, unless I have this one Twister, which, huh. Whether they should main deck it is debatable. But. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't feel and I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad because I'm playing fucking Tremid's tier fucking three. And you're playing top tier shit, so. <laughs> I would definitely be setting that wall, that uh song, so. Definitely. Like I said I'm just not sure if he'll find a way to get out of this. Yeah, you can die. And I'll poke you for 24, and you can die, and I'll poke you for 24. God, it's like blue eyes, like they can't special summon, they can't do shit. Like, oh, that's why fucking quarantine is so fucking good. <coughs> quarantine, in my opinion, is one of the best side cards this format. Like, holy shit. It's good against fucking this deck, it's fucking good against uh, fucking Herald dot deck, fucking bullshit deck. Like, so is that game? Like, GG? Not really. I mean, just vanity. It's going to show you how fucking stupid vanity is. It. Just flip it up and it's like, you can't spot your summon. Especially against Blue Eyes. Because I know there is nothing in his deck he could normal summon to get over my shit. Nothing. That's really sad. That's really sad, you know? It's like, no, 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 no. Like, even if he was playing, like, the Chaos Max variant and he had Manju, and Manju could potentially attack over this, but now I'm too strong for even Manju. Like, that's it. That's it. GG. Shake my hand, top tier deck. <laughs> you lose the vanities. Definitely. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, at least it got a W with it. At least it got a W with it. So, Tremors aren't bad. They, they take a lot of thinking, a lot of playing ahead, you know? Uh, Rennie's not here at the time. Rennie actually has a deck in real life, and I, I never got a chance to ask him, how do you play Tremors? You know? Uh, I kind of looked it up. I saw a different couple deck profiles, but in the end, I was like, I want to play it pure. You know, if we're going to play it pure, keep the monster count low, <coughs> demise, you know? Um... I said, I'm debating on whether I want to cut down some of the spells and spells, filled spells, you know, maybe like 2-2-2, two, 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 you know, 2-2-2 two, 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 filled spells, especially since she could put him back, dancer, you know, 2-2-2, two, two, two. and then, um, running more traps, you know, like the lose one turn seemed like they'll work, lose one turns at 2, maybe I can up it to 3, I don't know, uh, maybe some mirror forces, I don't know, I don't know, you know, if I want to play Demise deck, I want to play a Demise fucking deck. You know, I want to play the fucking Hatred. You don't get to play Yu-Gi-Oh. You don't get to do shit. I'm playing Tremith. I'm tier fucking, you know, ass booty. And I just beat Blue Eyes, so let's go, you know. <coughs> I'm just running with that June Shishi deck, though. What's that going to be? It's just hyping the shit out of that. That kid's got so much support. They got, like, 15 cards. And I guess I'll be reviewing them in one, in one big old card review. I said I was, so there's a lot of cards to look at. You know, they got, like... Like 11, 12, no, 12 monsters, two spells, one trap, I think. That's a, that's a lot, that's a lot. Anyway, we're done here. So if you guys have any suggestions for the deck, be sure to tell me in the comment section below. Like I said, I've never played this deck before, but I'll get, I get, I, you know, get it, I'll get it. So uh, and we, we are done with all the deck profiles. Like I said, this is the final lineup for Daily Duels. Uh, I'm still planning and trying to figure out what we're going to do for... Um, uh, the finale of Daily Duels. I'm thinking it ends on Wednesday. I think November the 2nd ends on Wednesday. That that day, I'm just going to do a live stream. We're going to live stream Daily Duels, the the, the grand finale. I'm, I'm going to see, I'm thinking about maybe trying to get as many tag partners as possible, but, you know, that'll become difficult. It'll be loud, and I'm not sure if, it, if how many people are going to be free during the day, but I'll see, I'll see. Uh, and... We do a live stream, we play with all the decks that are currently on Daily Duels, you know, we tag, we just do a grand live stream, then I render and upload it on on YouTube, and bam, there it goes, episode 1000, that's it, and Daily Duels is over. So we got, we still got like, over a month before now, we still got a cool minute to play with these decks, get them better, get them, you know, accustomed to them. Yeah. Uh, some of these decks, especially a lot of these decks I started fresh with, I don't think there's, is there any one deck on here that I've ever played before this month? I don't think so. I think so. Everything's pretty new, so, you know, live and learn, right? So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And I will see you guys next week with some more Daily Duels. Uh, the live stream, I I won't be able to do the live stream tomorrow. And I, I, I actually forgot. I actually forgot. Uh, the reason why I was doing, I'm able to do live stream is because I'm only out of town yet again with, uh, with uh, Team XD. Once again, we're going to, uh, was it LA Regionals? and frankincense and sons you know 
Uh, we're, go we're pretty much going. It's going to be a one-day trip, but with that one-day trip, I will pretty much be gone on Saturday. You know, we leave out early Saturday morning. We get there. We get back in the car, drive back, you know, and get there by Sunday morning. So I'm going to be gone on Saturday. I can't live stream and, you know, so I apologize. I apologize uh, that, uh, you know, I keep on flaking on these live streams. So definitely next Saturday we'll do something. But, I mean, I can't control this. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you guys next time.